Today we're taking on the steepest street in the world. And we're doing it in New Zealand's most popular EV, the Nissan LEAF. We're also visiting a community workspace where an incredible transformation is taking place. We're on the cusp of a renewable revolution, ditching dirty old fuels in favor of cheap, clean electricity. In fact, it's already happening. You just have to know where to look. I'm serious about EVs, electric vehicles, and I'm on a journey to find them all over New Zealand. They're clean, fast, and fun to drive. My name is Paul, and this is Charged As. Today, I'm visiting the Northeast Valley Community Workspace, home to bikes, cars, electric bikes, and soon to be electric cars. Hi. I'm meeting Rosemary, who will soon be driving around in an EV all of her own making. It's a resurrected 1993 Honda City. Uh, as you can see, it's quite empty in the front. <laughs> yep, so you've done quite a bit of work already uh, to get well, it empty. We've taken out the motor. Uh, a little bit complicated because it was a 1993 automatic, but we've had to find an old manual gearbox right. and put that in. Sure. And the reason for that is because our beautiful new electric motor actually fits in to the gearbox. So this is the motor this here? This is the motor. Ooh. So most of this came from California, but this absolute work of art here was made in South Dunedin. Fantastic. Yeah, and then we room just in front of that to put this battery box and another one identical will also sit just up here. So what's all this going to weigh when it's finished? The final weight, once we've got motor, batteries, two lots of batteries, it'll be under 1,000 kilos. And that's including the batteries? Yeah, that's including the batteries. That was, that's with everything in it. Wow, that's very impressive. Which is kind of why I chose a little car like this. Absolutely. Yeah. So should we have a look at the back and see what's going in there? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> There's a big hole in the back of my car, as you can see. That's the hole. The battery box has to sit quite low uh, for safety reasons. And I tell you what, I'm quite proud of this. I angle grinded this myself. And I just want to say, Paul, nobody ever told me. I'm 58 years old. Nobody ever told me how much fun <laughs> angle grinding was. Oh my gosh, it was great. And these are the batteries. These are the batteries. They're right here. It's all just happening. Yeah. You feel how, how light it is. Wow. They're two kilos, about two kilos each. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> They're amazing. Oh, and they clip together? Yeah, they just wow. sit together side by side. And those batteries are going to power my car. It's going to have a range of about 160 kilometres. A lot of people are watching this project. Oh yeah. Being in a place like this, a community workspace, it's um, you can't really hide. If nothing happens for a long time, people come to me and say, "Oh, how's your car going, Rosemary?" Well, we'll be watching now as well, and we'll I know. be certain to come along and, and see how it works out. Yeah, yeah. So I better get, I better get going. <laughs> and you've got to come back and see, what, yeah, see um, it all done. We need to see what this looks like when it's yeah, finished. But I tell you what, even better, my friend John. There's a Honda City already converted. There's, it's on the road now. There's one in Dunedin now? Yeah. Oh, great. So we can check that out as yeah. well. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Great to meet you. You too. See you later. All right, that was very exciting and inspirational. Clearly very motivated people doing amazing things with EV conversions. But of course, if you're lazy like me, there's more than one way to get an EV. You could just go out and buy one. That's what we're looking at now. It's a first generation Nissan LEAF, the most popular EV in all of New Zealand. Alan has been a proud LEAF owner for the last 18 months. He's taking us out for a test drive and he's going to explain why he went EV. But what really did it for me was the fact that it actually takes about 6 or 7 kilowatts of power to produce 1 US gallon of petrol. And that's between 36 and 40 kilometres driving. <laughs> and I get that just by plugging the, power, the same power into my car. It, it, it takes less energy to, to run this car than it does just to refine the petrol that you'd be burning in a petrol car. Yeah. <laughs> so on top of that, you haven't got the sucking it out of the ground, storing it, refining it, moving it, storing it, moving it, storing it, and then finally pumping it into your tank. So it, it, 
it's a no-brainer for me. And the crucial thing about running on battery, especially in New Zealand, is it's 100% New Zealand made. It's not imported from anywhere. And what really did the sums for me was the fact that the New Zealand power, we like 25 cents a kilowatt hour. So realistically, this car costs about between three and four cents a k to drive, and, which is it's cheap. Amazing. Coruscatingly cheap, which is great. <laughs> The wonderful thing about this thing is you, you go down hills and it actually puts power back into the batteries and that doesn't happen in a petrol car. The brake pads last longer, much longer than a petrol car because you're not wearing out the brakes so much because most of you're slowing down as on regen. Well, there's no oil in this car at all. Uh, there's about one and a bit, one and a half, 1.2 litres of synthetic transmission fluid for the reduction gear drive. Right, and that's just the one gear? Yeah, reduction gear. And there's no clutch to wear out. No. When you stop at the lights, the motor actually stops. It doesn't sit there wearing away. You've got no clutch to wear out. It's it's just a great car. And so you talked about how it doesn't make any noise when you stop at the lights. What about when you go at the lights? How does it go? It goes very well. If we put our foot flat... Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is by no means a toy car. The 80 kilowatt motor generates 280 newton meters of torque which being electric is available from zero RPM, making the car very fun to drive. The battery is a modest 24 kilowatt hour or 30 kilowatt hours in the newer model, which we'll review later in the series. For everyday charging, there's a standard type one AC charging port and for longer trips, you can top up at fast chargers all around New Zealand using the Chatamo DC fast charger. But enough talk about torque. Let's just see how the Leaf performs in the real world. This is Baldwin Street, the steepest street in the world. Will the leaf make it? Oh, they're awesome uphills. They've never, ever not had enough grunt to get up. I like going up this one and View Street in town. That's the two streets that my petrol vehicle always struggled with. Let's floor it and up we go. So there you have it folks, this EV made it up the world's steepest street without breaking a sweat. My ears popped, but everyone else is just fine. <laughs> well, that was two very different, but still fascinating stories of how you could drive an EV today. You can either convert your own or you can go out and get a Nissan Leaf. Of course, there are many other cars coming out on the market every day. We're gonna be seeing more of those later, but today that's all we've got time for. So we'll see you next time.